everyone, I'm Emma here with Wildflower Quilt Company and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple and easy tote bag. Uh, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So to make the simple tote bag, what you're going to need is a half yard of your outer fabric. I am going to use this Flowerland print by Ruby Star. And then you'll need a half yard of your lining print, and this is Sugar, also by Ruby Star. And when you have your half yards of these, you're gonna cut them into two sets of 14 by 16 inch rectangles. And so you're gonna have four pieces total, and those will both make up the two sides of the bag. And you'll also need some sort of strap um, I always use a, a yard and a half, and then you're going to cut it into two 27 inch pieces. This here is a one and a half inch wide webbing, but you can use any size. And then also you'll want to have some clips or pins to keep your work in place as you sew. So the first thing we're going to do is sew the tops of the bag together. So you'll want to have the 14 inch piece um, at the top and the 16 inch going down. And you're gonna take your webbing, and I always like to go three inches in and do about an inch over the edge of the fabric just so it doesn't slip out and your bag comes apart. And then you're just gonna pin that strap in place um, through the fabric. And then you're gonna make sure that your strap does not get tangled or uh, flipped, and then just do the same thing on the other side. And then once you have your straps pinned in place, you're gonna take your lining and you're gonna put it right side down on top of the fabric and make sure that you get it lined up at the top and then use pins to pin the tops together. And I always like to use three pins, one on each side and then one in the middle. And then once you have everything pinned together, you're gonna repeat with the other outer and lining fabric with the other strap. And you're gonna take it over to your machine and you're gonna sew across this line at a quarter inch seam. Um, if you're using a canvas, you might wanna do a half inch seam just to make sure um, it's nice and secure. And I always like to sew over this seam twice so you know your handles won't rip out. So once you've completed that seam, your piece will look like this and you should have the right sides together with the strap in between. And you will end up with two sets of these, which we're gonna pin together and sew around. So now you're gonna wanna lay your finished piece right side up and make sure that your handle is as, is as flat as you can get it. And then you're gonna take the other set and take it and put it right side down, right on top of it. And then once again, try and get that handle nice and flat so that it's easier to line up all the edges. And the way that you can make sure this is nice and precise is by nesting these seams right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pin all the way around this bag the bottom of the lining piece I'm only going to put two pins at the very end here and this is going to be a reminder to me not to sew all the way across this piece 
because we need to have an opening so we can flip the bag and we have the pretty side of the fabric out when it's finished. And now we're ready to take it over to our machine and we're gonna sew a half inch seam all the way around except for the bottom of the lining piece. So I am starting down at the very bottom piece just so I don't forget um, that we're not gonna sew all the way across. And when I get to a point where I wanna stop and leave the hole, I'm just gonna do a few little back stitches um, so it doesn't rip a bigger hole as we flip the fabric through. And then just gonna scoot the fabric down a little bit and continue sewing a straight line all the way down to the end. And for both the lining and the outer fabric on this bottom edge, I like to sew it twice just to make sure that the bottom won't rip when we finish. And then for the rest of the sides, we're just going to sew straight lines all the way down. And once you finish going around, you'll have a piece that looks like this. And before we flip it inside out, we're going to want to cut the corners at an angle. And this will reduce the bulk when we flip it out. And it will give you these really sharp, precise corners. But make sure you don't cut across these seams or your bag will start to fall apart. And now your bag will start to come to life as you just shove the fabric through that hole in the lining. And you want to be careful not to rip it um, too big. You don't want the whole bottom to fall apart. And it should look something like this. And then you can take a pencil or um, one of those wooden dowels that come with batting and just poke out those corners so that they'll fit nicely into each other and your bag will look more professional. So once you get your corners flipped out, it'll look something like this. And before we put the lining inside of the bag, what we're gonna wanna do is to sew this hole back up. So I am gonna take these seams, make sure they're um, nice and inside the bag. And I like to press them together like this with your iron, just so they stay nice and even before doing a 1 8 inch seam right where that opening is. So you can either do this part by hand and do a ladder stitch, and that might be a little more invisible. Um, you can try and do a more matching thread, but then we're just going to do a straight stitch, do a little back stitch so it doesn't come apart. And it'll look a little bit like this, and then we're just going to trim off these extra threads. So now we're just gonna take the lining and just shove it in the outer part of the bag so that we have a fun pattern on both sides of the bag. 
and then you can just adjust it. You wanna make sure that it's even all the way around before we do our top stitching. And then you wanna make sure that you get those pointed corners pushed out and that's where the trimming of the corners will help us so it's not so bulky. And it'll look like this and we are down to our last step. So our final step is to top stitch all the way around the edge of the bag. And you can totally customize this. You can use a contrasting thread color. You can use a wider seam allowance depending on the look you wanna go for. You could even use a decorative stitch if your machine has that. Um, but what I like to do is a half inch seam with a slightly bigger um, stitch length. I have my stitch length set to 3.0 and I like to start um, in this corner seam so that when we get back around, um, it's not so obvious where the stitches meet each other. And if you wanna add extra stability to your handles, this is where you can add that X that goes over the strap um, so it doesn't rip out or you can do a back stitch over it to keep it in place. And once you trim your threads, you are done. And you have completed your simple tote bag. Um, this is such a versatile and easy project that you can finish in an hour. It's great for gifts um, and it's great for using up your stash because you only need two half yards. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.